Good morning one and all welcome to the video in this video I will be talking about how to display data from a database using Python so uh, from a database right when you basically store an image on a database it's usually a blob object now what you want to do is basically when you want to display images on a website um, images do you cannot display you cannot add binary data to an image what you have to do is basically you need to convert that uh, blob data into basically base64 so what you can do is basically you can develop a Python backend which will basically take that image uh, a byte data from a database uh, so something like this so let me show you select everything from some table name where some condition so get the data you will get a blob object uh, i'm making that using a file i have a file here on my computer um, here you can see so i read the file as a binary that means basically it's basically a blob data it's similar to this one executing a sql query what i'm doing next is basically i'm encoding the data into a base64 now the problem with the base64 is when you encode it it's going to encode like a byte like object so we need to decode it using a utf8 so i decode it and once you decode it basically if you print the data it will be a base64 string so if i really want to show you uh, by so here you can see it's a base64 string what you can do now guys is basically you copy that string i'm just showing you the gist of idea so this is a format so source data so an image tag will have a source we will say data colon and you will say that that data is an image and you will say slash png that's the format car set equals to udf8 that's the encoding but then you will say semicolon base64 comma and xxx is where you paste your base64 data i have a snippets right here uh, right here i've shown everything here and if i want to show you if i run this um, you see the hbo logo is being rendered and if i do an inspect element and i hover my mouse over the HPO and if I just show you here you can see the entire base64 data so that's just the gist of an idea how you would do it right now if you want to create a, a full-blown service what you would do is basically you need to develop a basically a back-end service or a rest API so basically this is a simple flask API which takes a binary data or basically a binary data and basically converts into a base64 and returns that data now what you can do is basically using jQuery you can um, uh, call this um, internal attribute like you can call this and uh, you will update the source attribute of your um, basically a source attribute of your image um, and that's how you would display images on a website uh, so yeah that's a pretty uh, small walkthrough on how you would do it if you have any more questions you list your questions in the comments i would leave the scripts uh, the etl scripts or the bare bone etl scripts in the description so you can kindly check it out and um, yeah feel free to ask any more questions if you want uh, that's the, just the idea how you would do it so convert the image into so the thing is we need the image in base64 in order for us to display that image on our website that's the idea hope you have enjoyed it and if you have any more questions here uh, you can post your questions in the comments and i would try to uh, address your questions uh, as soon as possible if you want to create a full-blown backend service i would say use docker nginx wsgi create multiple instances of your api load balancing um, or basically creating um, rabbitmq and basically uh, every time you do something it's gonna do this in the back end and it's gonna return the base64 there are several uh, of course um, uh, what do you say uh, approach in which you can improve the efficiency this is just one of them uh, you can also develop uh, AWS serverless lambda functions where you can just pass the data and then you can do that so that's it for this video hope you have enjoyed it if you have any more questions list your questions in the comments and I would be happy to answer you as usual keep smiling keep coring see you guys next time